Hi you guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to make a slouchy hat. This one is one that I've made earlier. And this one is made out of merino wool. It's really soft, nice and thick. And it can be worn tons of different ways. That's why I like these. Um, it's worked in, oops, in double crochets. And then the top, or the brim, is made in single crochets. So let's get started. So what you're going to need for this video is your yarn. Um, you can use any weight yarn. If you use a finer yarn, you're just going to have to use a smaller needle and uh, more stitching. So with this one, I'm using just regular old Red Heart. And this calls for a 6.5 millimeter hook. And I'm probably going to use my, my 6 milliliter just because it's comfy. And yeah, so let's get started. So first, I'm going to show you guys how to do a magic loop. Um, a lot of people don't want to learn, they think it's intimidating. It, it's, it's not. It's very easy. And once you get it down, you'll never go back to chaining four. So first you just take your yarn, and this is how I do it. I wrap it around my middle finger, just wrap it around, bring it around once, and then twice and hold it there, see, with my ring finger, and try to get your needle in there, and then grab the back yarn, this piece of yarn, and just pull it through, and there you go. Um, go ahead and chain one, just to fasten it. So there's your little ring. You can take your finger out. Let me get some more yarn. Jeez. Okay. Now going into the loop, we're going to do 12 double crochets. Okay. So you're going to go directly into the loop. So we're going to just yarn over, go into the loop. Grab your yarn, pull it through your loop, grab, pull through two, oops, hold on, sorry about that, let's start over, grab your yarn, go in, pull through two, and then pull through two. So it looks finicky, and yeah, it kind of is until you get started. Yarn over, go back into your hole, grab, pull through two, pull through two. So now we have two double crochets. We need to do ten more. Three. Four. Five, six. This yarn is going to be a pain too. <clears throat> six, seven, eight. I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer. I don't know if you guys can see my hands pretty or well enough or not. So let's experiment a little. Okay. All right, let's count see how many we have. You always chain, uh, count this first one where you chained up as one. So that's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
11, 12. Okay, so here we have our ring of double crochet. And I don't do it like most people, of course. I take the back, let's see, the back loop, and I just start pulling. And then grab your straggler, your tail, and pull. You should pull pretty tight, but not too tight. It'll snap your yarn. And there you have your first round. So we're going to go into the top here, top stitch right here. Can you see that? And then just do a slip stitch. That'll secure your first round. So now we're going to chain up to one two and we're gonna work two double crochets into every stitch all the way around okay and you always you want to keep track so you had 12 on your first round so we're wanting 24 on the next so yarding over and you gotta kinda wiggle for that first stitch Okay, remember we want two in each one, so yarn over, going back in, sorry, I'll try to adjust this, this is not comfortable, okay, a little bit better, so now we're going to go back in, back in, so two, in each stitch, one, two, one, two, so what we're doing is we're working in the round and we're working our the crown of our hat. And I'll show you how to measure to know when to stop increasing. But we're going to keep increasing until it's the size that we need. So you can measure it on your own head or someone else's. Mm -hmm. So just keep going all the way around. And I'm going to pick up speed a little bit. So I'm doing two in every single stitch. this yarn. Let me get some. Yarn over, going in, grabbing, two, pull through two. Again, in the same stitch. Okay, and here's our last one. So we're going to do a two stitch increase. These are called increases, by the way. Okay, now a lot of people in a lot of videos will tell you to connect your round in uh, chain two when we did the double up. Remember, we did chain one, two. Um, but it, I find that it leaves a really noticeable seam. So I go into the first stitch that we did, the first double crochet at the top. So it's completely up to you. <clears throat> <clears throat> if that's confusing to you, but I think it's easier to find also. We're just going right in there. And we're just grabbing our yarn and just slipping it. Slip stitch together. Okay, so there we have our second round. Okay, and now we're going to chain up. One, two, and now we're going to do an increase in every other stitch. So we did an increase in every stitch around, two in each. We're going to do one by itself, and then two in the next. One by itself, two in the next. So, show you. So, 
always going back into that stitch. Okay, one. And the next one, we're going to work our increase. So, two. One into the next one. Let me get some yarn. I'm going to have to fix this eventually. Okay, so one in that one, two into the next stitch. One in the next, two in the next one. One in the next, two, one in the next, two in the next. One, oops, two in the next, one, two. One in the next, two in the next, one, two in the next, one. Two in the very next. One. And then two in the last. And you almost always, well you do, you always want to end in an, in an increase. Um, if you didn't, uh, they tell you to just uh, unwrap, like just pull it out and start over. I don't. I mean, say you landed on, you know, a one instead of it being a double, I would still work an extra one in there, but that's fudging it, but... Ow! Sorry. <laughs> so, this is what the crown is starting to look like. Okay, so we've worked one, two, three rounds, and you can see it's starting to kind of curl up. So, this is going to be the top, the top of the hat, and we're just working our way down. So what you're going to do is let me show you on the foam head. You're going to keep increasing until the top part, whoa, sorry about that, until the top part on the crown of the head okay and so the top part grows out so that it'll be perfectly even with your fingers to the side of your head so that way you know keep growing out until it reaches about here where my fingers are and then we stop increasing and just start crocheting down to the length that we want so this is definitely not even close so we probably have to do three more rounds Toss her to the side. Sorry. Okay. So now we are on our fourth round. And we're going to connect. Remember in the top stitch here, right there. Go into the top. Grab your yarn. Pull through both and then chain up two 
So, I mean, you can still kind of see where the seam is, but not nearly as bad as with the other one. But let me mess with this camera a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'm new at this, so I'm just trying to get it easier for you to see. Okay. So, we chained up two after we connected. Now, we're going to do an increase every two stitches. So we're going to do one into the first, one into the next one, and then two in our next stitch. So it's, I mean, pretty easy. So again, two by themselves. And then two double crochets in the next. Okay, two by themselves. One. No, we did an increase here, so now one, two. Now this one's an increase row. Our stitch, one, two, one, two, increase. And it's good to learn how to read your crocheting. So you, you know, if you have a brain fart and you don't know where you were, you can just look back. So we just did an increase, now we're going to do two by themselves. Okay, and then two in the same stitch. Two by themselves. Increase, so two in the same stitch. Two by themselves. If this music gets on your nerves, let me know. I just did it for me. So I don't just sit here and ramble on talking just to hear something. Two in the next. Two single. See, I had to read my crochet. Two in the next. By themselves. One, two. Two by themselves. One, two, two in the same stitch. Two by themselves. Two in the same stitch. And we're at the end of that row. Okay, so see, it's really starting to grow. Um, this one here, see that stitch right there? We don't want to do an increase because it'll just cause a big hole. So we landed on an increase. We're going to come to the top. See that chain, the stitch we did? Not the chain. We're going to go into the top of the stitch, which is all the way over here. So it might feel weird, but it'll look much better, I promise. That closes it right up, and you just chain two up. Now, the next set of increases, 
<clears throat> since there was two in between, first we, remember we did one stitch by itself and then two together. Here we did two in between the two together. And so in this row, we're going to do one single in three, in the first three, and then we're going to do an increase. So here we're going to do one, here we're going to do one, here we're going to do one, and then we're going to do two. I'll work that with you. And then I think you guys probably got the hand of that. So go into our first stitch. That's going to be one, two, three by themselves. And now we're going to do two in the next one, an increase. Pretty easy. So one by itself, two by itself, and three by itself. Okay, now work your increase. One, two, Okay, and then you're going to do another three, and then two and one, another three, two and one, and then so on, until you get all the way back around. Okay, and you're going to connect into the top stitch, remember, and then chain up two, and you're going to keep increasing like that until the top, this disc thingy, is covering the crown of your head. And I will meet back with you.